was Lee. You were born ready. All ready for it, face. Greetings, I'm Chappers. And I'm the captain. Today we have the utmost pleasure to be in the presence of positive grid. Not negative grid, but a positive grid. A positive grid, positive attitude, positive mental attitude grid. Positive mental octopus, which is a great old VHS DVD, DVD vid a VHS that. cassette I had I of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Remember that? No so, one that. anybody who is anybody uh, ha and spends any time on YouTube has probably seen a demo at some point or the other of the amazing software that comes out of the USA from the chaps at Positive Grid called Bias Amp. Bias Amp? Bias Amp. Bias Amp? Bias Amp. Bias Amp. Bias and it comes in various formats, has done over the years. There's like the, the full pro version, which you see in studios and stuff like that, right down to sort of like little apps that you can put on your phone and stuff. And they make amazing sounding guitar amp modeling software. Um, I've got a funny story about Bias. Go on then. So I did a demo for Bias mm. years and years ago when I still lived in Brighton. And uh, you know, on my phone, video in the screen and everything, really, really enjoyed the software and how you could change all the components to create an amp. And I thought it was really awesome. Went to Malta with mm. my wife and um, went to a beautiful hotel looking for a place to get married. We're like checking out hotels, been a bit sneaky with my wife's parents as well. And um, we happened upon a couple that my parent, my wife's parents knew. And they were like, oh, so nice to see you. How are you doing? Here's Rob. And Rob's a guitar player from England. And they were like, oh, our son's a guitar player. You should, you should, he'd love to meet you. He's a huge fan of guitar and he watches YouTube videos all the time. And... He works and you know does some stuff in guitar. We don't understand what he does, but could we get a photograph with you and maybe we could send it to him and everything? And they're like, oh, well, yeah, I suppose so. That's not a problem with me. And uh, so she sends him a photograph and then I get a photograph with his mum. And then all of a sudden I say, what's your son's name? And she says, Daniel. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And what's his surname? Batiste. And uh, it's Daniel from Positive Grid. And I got a <laughs> photograph with his mum randomly <laughs> at a, outside a hotel in uh, in Malta. It's such a small industry. Small such a small world. industry. Let me see the photo. That's his mum. And the photo, I'd literally done the bias, the bias video. <laughs> I'd literally done the bias video weeks before going to Malta and I met his mum. It was very strange. She was lovely. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so look, um, Positive Grid have decided to get into the realms of hardware uh, with an amp. Uh, so you'd be forgiven for, for seeing this and going, oh, this looks a little bit sort of kempery. Um, and I guess, sort of, you know, in terms of form, that's kind of the vibe that we're at. So imagine um, Bias Amp Pro, so the, the full version of the software, so you get unlimited updates forever and ever and ever of its whole life, with uh, an utterly, utterly latency-free, highest component possible, set of I.O. in and outs, essentially, like sort of um, all the knobs and buttons and inputs and outputs. Mm. With all the kind of look and feel of a regular guitar amplifier, so you can put pedals in the front, pedals yeah, through the Yeah, this is just an amp. All that kind of stuff. A 600 watt Class D power amplifier in the output section here. Um, for about two thirds the price of what you can currently buy a power Kemper for. So I was pretty excited when we found out about this. The full version of this ships in about a month's time, unless of course you're watching in this in the future, in which point it's already it's out. probably already out. Or in the past, in which and case. What we've got here happen. is a is a sort of a, a um a sort of a, I guess like a ninety five percent working prototype. So we're not going to do uh, like a full in depth demo of this at the moment because there'd be one or two uh, really cool features that frustratingly don't work on the prototype. Uh, but we are going to do the sort of super full demo in about four or six weeks time, so just make sure you subscribe to this wonderful channel, which there'll be a button here or here or somewhere to do it, or here, or maybe here, or maybe in all four of those places, don't put it there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, so when the full version of this comes out, you're gonna have um, the facilities to create your own amplifier, which is the kind of clever Yeah, you bit really that... build it component by component if you want, you can change yeah. everything. And that's what that really separates amp it from design, the... don't we? Yeah, it, the competition. Again, We'll do that in, the, in the, the full demo that we do. But if you can imagine breaking down a guitar amp uh, into every single component attribute of it, right down to its you know, speaker and how you mic it, you can change every, change tubes, change bias levels, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, you have uh, Amp Match, which is um, a slightly 
a variant on how Kemper do profiling, but fundamentally trying to do the same thing. So you would take uh, a recorded piece of guitar. So, you know, find your, get, get an amazing piece of, of um, uh, you know, your favorite guitar player chugging away or whatever, which you can pull from an album uh, if you can find an isolated guitar part. So obviously it's no good if someone's singing or playing drums in the background, but if there's like a cool piece of guitar or solo section that where no one else plays, you can match that. Or you can just you know, do your own, so get your own favorite amplifier or share files, whatever, and people just playing guitar and then match yeah. to that, uh, which is very cool. So the, And then this amplifier goes, oh, or the software goes, oh, I, I get it. I'll make a sound that sounds like that, which is it's sort of insane, but cool. Um, You've probably seen a guy called Fluff doing a bunch of videos of these two. Yeah, we love Fluff. Good yeah. old Fluff. He's got a new job. He's working for these guys now. <clears throat> whoop, whoop. That's not a job. It's not really a That's job. That's a holiday. It? It's, like, it's, like the sort of like, it's like saying we have a job. We haven't really got a job, have we? Well. Um, <laughs> and uh, what else is kind of cool on this? There's a thing called the, the Tone Cloud or the Amp Cloud. I forget what they call it. But again, that's obviously most of the big... Um, modeling companies and uh, modeling companies sounds like a modeling agency isn't it but most of the big digital companies will will have an opportunity for you to share uh, upload and share all of your favorite patches um so there you go it's fairly affordable it's really really flexible well, i can tell people how much it is because it's I, I mean it's not cheap uh it's uh, gonna retail in the uk for somewhere between a thousand and eleven hundred pounds I mean, in relation to the competition that's yeah. affordable it's about two-thirds of the price of what it would cost you to buy you know, something like a powered Kemper. Um, you, uh, as I said, I've been really, really impressed on this about the natural feel of it. So zero latency, uh, and kind of just feels like you're playing a guitar. Yeah, and just raw, but it's just a head, you plug it into a cab and it sorts you out. Yeah, so on the back of the amplifier, so this would be your kind of gigging setup really, or your gigging stroke recording setup. Uh, spe uh, the 600 watt power amplifier goes into your cabinet, you have cabinet simulators in here so we've switched them off and we're using a real cab um well, i say a real cab you know, like a you know a proper marshall 4x12 or you can use a flat response cab yeah and switch all the cabinet emulation on yeah you don't need to tour with an ipad by the way no nope, you don't have to have the ipad with you uh it saves um via uh, midi or via bluetooth rather and then you recall via midi dozens and dozens of different patches uh there are uh, di outputs on the back so in a gigging environment you'd run your cabinet on stage for your monitoring and you give the sound man your di outputs and the uh, you can switch as to whether or not you want the di outputs to be cabinet emulated or not so you don't have to have you know this cab and the front of house with the same setting mm. um loads and loads of cool features but as i said what i thought we'd do in this video is all four of the sort of youtube presenters who are here today so the wonderful rob the amazing Peter Honore, the fantabulous Rabir Massad, and the extraordinarily average Captain. <laughs> uh, we've all designed our own amp patches on here. We're going to upload these into the cloud as well. So if you're um, if you're a bias amp uh, owner, you'll be able to go and find these patches if you want. Yeah. Uh, I think all three of us, not Rabir, but me, Pete, and Rob, are going to use. We've got optional pedals, pedals. on the floor to use. We've got a Boss reverb <clears throat> in the effects loop. Um, hey. I don't think there's any more to say right now no. than bias amp. Bias amp? Bias amp. Let's rock. Let's rock. <laughs>
There you go that was rebiffery yes little teaser for you there about what this thing can do you know pretty excited about getting my hands on the uh the, the fully working version of this which as i said we will do a proper long video of yeah, this. yeah we'll grease up and we'll properly weather right uniforms um, so yeah cool live product cool studio product um cool product just cool product well yes. done uh so there we are positive grid uh bias head bias amp bias amp bias amp uh, tune in soon for more information. See you there. Au revoir. The camera's in Is it burning? What are you talking about? Bye bye.